So we saw a surprise appearance by Impact Wrestling talent James Mitchell this past week on AEW Dynamite. Of course, this week's edition of Dynamite was AEW Beach Break from Jacksonville, Florida at Daly's Place. Uh, Impact talent James Mitchell worked as the officiant for the wedding between Penelope Ford and Kip Sabian during the show. Now, of course, this was his AEW debut, although James Mitchell is very familiar when it comes to officiating weddings. Of course, he's played this role previously in Impact Wrestling for a variety of weddings. Recently, it was Rosemary and Johnny Bravo where of course Johnny Bravo was shot uh, but also you had Brian Cage and Melissa Santos their wedding in Impact Wrestling was also officiated by Father James Mitchell uh, and frankly I loved it I love me a bit of James Mitchell and a little of Sinister Minister from the ECW days now the ceremony itself went pretty smoothly until Miro's Toast uh, where Chuck Taylor was able to shackle his foot to the ring post Orange Cassidy then popped out of a giant cape, cake in the ring to help uh, Taylor drop Kip Sabian Penelope Ford didn't go unscathed as well as she went face first into the wedding cake during the brawl. Now, there's a lot to break down there. First of all, it was very, very surprising to see James Mitchell be involved there, but it just goes to show, doesn't it? It just goes to show there is certainly more to this AEW and Impact Wrestling relationship. Um, if there wasn't this Impact and AEW relationship right now, would they have been able to do this? Of course they would have. Of course they would have. You do have to question whether or not they would have, though, if that makes sense. I don't know if if AEW was just its standalone entity right now and it didn't have any relationship with Impact Wrestling, would James Mitchell truly be the officiator at that wedding? I don't think they would. I think James Mitchell being involved in several weddings recently for Impact Wrestling, I think James Mitchell being involved in the most recent wedding in Impact, which of course was the Rosemary and Johnny Bravo saga, which ended in tragedy and comedic tragedies to say that, I think probably caught the attention of AEW and they thought, you know what, considering we have this relationship with Impact Wrestling, right now why not why not have James Mitchell involved now in terms of James Mitchell's status with Impact Wrestling I don't know if he's truly under contract with Impact Wrestling I think most likely it's a situation whereby if he's um, if he's needed at certain tapings they'll bring him in he's not at every TV taping he makes the odd cameo whether it's doing a wedding like this whether it's resurrecting Sue Young or turning her into Susie or Susan or anything of that nature. He gets involved in that sort of supernatural crazy stuff when it comes to Impact Wrestling. Uh, but to see him there on AEW Dynamite, a beach break on Wednesday night, certainly was it was very surprising. I didn't necessarily see that happening. Uh, but again, it goes to show it's just another name from Impact Wrestling that would appear on an AEW program and vice versa. So um, does this go to signal kind of the walls breaking down even more when it comes to this open borders policy between AEW and Impact Wrestling? It's certainly a possibility, certainly a possibility. Now, in terms of the wedding segment itself, the thing is with weddings in professional wrestling is historically they do very well, don't they? Regardless of if they're good or bad, they draw ratings. Historically, they've been proven to draw ratings, whether that's for WWE, Impact Wrestling, or now AEW. I think for Impact Wrestling, some of the most famous weddings over time, as I mentioned, Brian Cage, Melissa Santos, the recent one, Rosemary and Johnny Bravo. I think one of the most famous weddings as well was the uh, Brooke Hogan and Bully Ray wedding during the Aces and Eights era of Impact Wrestling. Thing when Taz revealed himself to be a member of the Aces and Eights and the Aces and Eights attacked everyone in the Hogan family and all that kind of stuff. People can poo-poo on that and uh, say it was a bad time for Impact Wrestling. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. And frankly, so did a lot of people because at the time, uh, that Bully Ray and Brooke Hogan wedding uh, on Impact Wrestling during that Aces and Eights era actually did a really strong number on Spike TV, did a really strong number. I wish I'd have looked up before I started recording this. Um, but it goes to show weddings do very well. And then when it goes to WWE and weddings for WWE, uh, the last wedding they had, if I'm correct, was the um, Bobby Lashley and Lana wedding. I mean, I, I've done my best to try and forget that, but it did actually happen. Uh, and that was uh, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. Um, also just before, it might have been like just before New Year's Eve of 2019. And to be honest, you know, it did a really good number for Monday Night Raw at the time. I think it did something like 2.5 million live viewers. Raw would kill for that right now. If SmackDown did that right now, they'd be saying, I'm very, very happy with that number. So it goes to show weddings work. Um, ironically, when it comes to this wedding, in terms of the segment, you know, I really didn't care for it. If I'm going to be brutally honest, um, 
I, if anything, the thing I liked probably the most about it was that James Mitchell was involved because as someone that covers Impact Wrestling a lot here on the channel, as soon as I saw that, I went, wow, that's something to talk about on the YouTube channel. It shows that this Impact and AEW relationship does expand to just more than people involved with the Bullet Club or Matt Hardy and Private Party. It's way, way wider reaching than that. And the uh, Impact Wrestling roots are starting to uh, make their way into AEW as it were um, I thought that was really interesting and again it was probably the thing I liked the most about it um, I just didn't care for the wedding frankly and no disrespect to Kip Sabian a fellow Brit or Penelope Ford or anything like that I just think Miro is way better off I think he's way better off in doing something different I never really got the pairing in the first place I felt like Okay, it's a way to introduce Miro to AEW, that's fine. But I think a lot of people, myself included, expected really big things from Miro in AEW. This was a guy that was never really pushed where he should have been in WWE. Of course, he had the WrestleMania match against John Cena, the biggest moment of his career, the near year-long undefeated run that he had in WWE, and that was great. But when he truly started to get over as a babyface in sort of 2017, 2018, did he get the push that he deserved or warranted at the time? No. And he was he was a victim of that glass ceiling not actually existing because he would be the number one merchandise seller. He would have the arena chanting his name, and he would go to Vince McMahon and say, what do I have to do? And Vince McMahon would say to him, look, the only reason you are selling out merchandise is because we're not making enough T-shirts. Or uh, they're only chanting their name out of irony. They're not chanting for you. And uh, so when he left WWE, he was part of that mass uh, amount of people that was released in April last year to, uh, due to the budget cuts associated with the pandemic. People were very excited that finally he could go to AEW. Um, there was you know, talks at one point they might even go to Impact. Can you imagine the style that Miro would be in Impact Wrestling? The guy would be Impact World Champion right now. I have no doubt in my mind, you know, he wouldn't be doing weddings. He would be the Impact World Champion right now because he would be the biggest star in Impact Wrestling by a country mile. Um, but he's in an AEW and I think a lot of people were excited because they saw parallels of other people that had gone from WWE to AEW and said, finally, he's going to be used in the position that he should be used in. Finally, he's going to be in main events. Finally, he's going to be challenging for world championships and possibly even being the world champion because Miro absolutely can be a world champion. And what's he doing? He's in this weird pairing with Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford, which again, no disrespect to them, but I think Miro's better than that. In addition to that, you know, what's he doing? I get their streamers. Okay, they, they, they have a Twitch channel. Miro has a huge Twitch following and enjoys his video games. That's great. But how did the feud start with the best friends? They broke some arcade machine that Miro got for Kip Sabian. Seriously? You know for a fact that if WWE started an angle and the issue was over a broken arcade machine. People would be rolling their eyes and going, oh, stupid PG stuff, why are they doing this? So it should be the exact same when it comes to AEW. It's a stupid it's a stupid thing to start a, a feud over. And uh, Miro just, he deserves better. And uh, Tony Khan's been on the defensive a little bit about that as well. And he said, look, Miro for years and years was treated so badly by WWE that I need to build him back up by doing this, by doing this, and again, moving it back to Impact, because this is what it is, it's an Impact video here, I felt the, the best thing about the segment was James Mitchell, and that's not just me as an Impact fan saying that, that's me just as a fan of pro wrestling saying, you know, his his appearance there as a long-time fan of Impact, a long-time fan of ECW, as I mentioned when he was a Sinister Minister, um, that was the thing I popped for the most, because I felt like, wow, we're seeing something a bit different, and again, it's the crossover between AEW and Impact Wrestling, so... Does this mean now, I guess, is it going to be tit for tat in the sense that because James Mitchell appeared on AEW this week, does it mean necessarily we could see Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford and maybe even Miro appear in Impact Wrestling in the future? I think it's a possibility. I think it's a possibility. I think Kip Sabian, to me, again, with this AEW and Impact Wrestling relationship I've mentioned several times, I think the people that might benefit the most in terms of talent are those younger talents in AEW that necessarily aren't on Dynamite every single week. I think Kip Sabian fits into that category perfectly, uh, that they're very promising, got a huge future ahead of them, but their development, their growth is going to be stifled if they don't have an independent scene to work on, which obviously is non-existent at the moment. And every week they're not going to be on TNT, you know, but they've got two hours every single week on TNT AEW. I know they're going to have longer soon about, they're talking about adding an extra show on there. I don't know when that's going to happen. Uh, but you can't just appear on Dark every single week and do those, those squash matches. You need to be involved in something substantial or to be involved in something that's, uh, that's more than squash matches on Dark. And Sabian and Ford, they're not going to be on Dynamite every week. So what do you do? Do what you do with Private Pie. Private Pie weren't going to be on Dynamite every single week. They'll be on there a lot of the time, but not every single week. What do you do? 
Send them to Impact. Send them to Impact for two, three months. Have them do a program, just one program, one feud in Impact Wrestling. And then they come back. Not only have they had a breakaway from AEW, but they've also developed. They've also wrestled in a different environment. They've expanded their character. They've tried things against uh, other characters and other talents. And they've also had a bit of an influence from the producers and the creative minds there in Impact Wrestling too. It's win-win. So I think given that James Mitchell you know, married Penelope Ford and Kip Sabian together. Who's to say that there wasn't something nefarious going on with James Mitchell? He's hardly uh, a sweetheart, is he? You look at his track record when it comes to Impact Wrestling, some of the things he's presided on over the past. Maybe it's a case of because he wedded them together, maybe in a couple of TV tapings time or at some point in Impact Wrestling's future, he brings with him Penelope Ford and Kip Sabian to Impact Wrestling for a feud or something like that. Again, anything's possible. Anything's possible when it comes to this relationship that's uh, blossoming with AEW and Impact Wrestling right now. And I think people like Penelope Ford and Kip Saban would really, really benefit from having a period of time uh, uh, Impact Wrestling in the future. So uh, who's to, who knows? Who knows? It's certainly a possibility as far as Miro goes. Will Miro ever appear in Impact Wrestling in the future? If he did, it'd be a massive, massive get for Impact Wrestling. I wouldn't rule it out. I wouldn't rule it out. If uh, if Kip Sabin and Penelope Ford do come along, who's to say that Miro wouldn't? Um, I think that given the fact that they tape in Nashville, and Miro, as far as I'm aware, still does have a home in Nashville. He lives in Nashville with Lana. Um, if that is the case, then the travel wouldn't be difficult for him at all. So that, again, anything's possible. I always say this about this AEW and Impact Wrestling relationship. You can't rule out anything because if uh, the last few weeks have told us anything or this relationship between AEW and Impact Wrestling have told us anything so far, uh, it's that we whatever we think is happening certainly isn't happening and something else is about to happen. So anything's possible, but I really did enjoy uh, James Mitchell appearing on AEW Beach Break this week. But of course, as always, it's just one man's opinion. What are your thoughts on James Mitchell appearing on AEW Beach Break this week? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll do my best to respond and reply to all of your comments. Really enjoy interacting with you guys. Guys talking about Impact Wrestling, AEW, WWE, New Japan, all things pro wrestling here on the channel. So be sure to get involved with the community, drop a comment below. All opinions are welcome. If you have enjoyed this video, please do smash a like on the like button too. Really does help us out here on YouTube. Go up the rankings and get into people's recommendation feeds if they haven't seen our videos previously. But most importantly, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to Wrestling News 365. You can do that by clicking the bottom right corner of the screen right now. Or if you wait a few seconds, there'll be a subscribe button at the end of this video along with another video for you to watch. Thank you very much for watching, listening, streaming, or having come across this video today and i'll speak for you again very very soon hey guys thank you for watching listening streaming or however you come across this video today be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video or click the bottom there to subscribe or the bottom right hand corner thank you very much and i'll speak to you again very soon